Hello and welcome. My name is Baba Sham. This is Wrath of the Righteous, and we are with Nenio on her quest, more than nothing. And we're located in the Enigma. And as you can see, we're on the right-hand side of this from the entrance, and it's in the left-hand corner of the bottom square. That brings us to this puzzle with the arrows. And uh, first thing you're going to want to do is ensure that they're powered up. I got a, a stone in one of this, one of the deep dried up magic springs, as you can see over there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Got one here. And then you're going to have one, if I rotate the camera, there's one right here, and then one right here. And so once those are in, you notice this one is not blue, and that's fine. Might not even need one seated there. But you're going to come to this puzzle as soon as you've got these two blue sections lit up. It's going to flip these tiles over so you can see the symbols on them. And then we're going to go ahead and populate them. Orientate your camera so that you've got... Uh, you know, a vertical line with one horizontal off to your right. That way it matches up with what I'm going to show here. And then it's just a matter of rotating the arrows to where you want them. And the very first ones, uh, let's start with the top. And we're just going to rotate this one over this way. And then next up, uh, we'll go to the right-hand side. And uh, we'll keep the bottom one the same, but we'll rotate the next two. And then we're going to want to go kind of point them at each other. You come back around this way, and then this one's going to go upwards. So that takes care of the top and the right-hand side. All right, so next up, we're going to go to the bottom, and we're going to have the two over here pointing to the left. You just got to click it, and it'll re reorient it. And this one here is going to be on the right. And uh, this is actually the, the arrows pointing to those symbols. The quantity of them equals the number that you see inside the dungeon and so you just have to go through counting and making sure you didn't miss any uh, but uh, this will help you out so you don't have to do all that counting this top on the left hand side this top arrow is going to point down and then we're going to have these other uh, the, the middle one's going to point down as well and then this bottom one here is going to point up and once that happens you'll get a little cutscene to indicate that you've done the puzzle correctly as you can see they're flipping over and now we've got that blue line lit up. So that means we've solved the puzzle correctly. And we're going to want to run over here and hit that little tab now that it's powered up. And a chest appears that was magically hidden previously. Hopefully that helps you guys continue your quest here. And more than nothing, please like and subscribe. It helps me out greatly. And until next time, happy quests.